everybody, welcome back to Poppins Approved. Today I'm going to share with you four Jujube backpacks that I was wondering about how they compared to each other and trying to decide which one I would like the best. So I thought that this comparison would also be helpful for you guys if you haven't maybe seen these backpacks yet in person and you're wondering how they compare to probably like the Jujube Be Right Back, which is one of their staple bags that has been around for a really long time. I know I myself was curious, so I hope this video helps. Right here I have the Be Zealous in Queen of the Nile. This is one of their um, newer bags. They just kind of re-came out with Queen of the Nile. So this is what it looks like on the Be Zealous. I think it's actually really pretty in the Be Zealous because the um, crazy pattern is broken up by all these black zippers here. Um, I think it just looks really nice on this bag in particular. Now this bag is called the Midi Backpack. It is also um, a newish style. Um, so, and I had never tried it before, so I was excited to grab this and kind of see how it would compare to a few of the others. You can see there that it's more of a matte gold hardware this time. Um, instead of the shiny gold that they um, originally came out with for the Queen of the Nile. I also really like that they decided to do the interior a different color as well. It's not the mushroom interior, it is more of a silver. Here is the beautiful Be Right Back in Duchess. I tried to grab all the bags in similar colors and prints so that um, you wouldn't be swayed necessarily by the print you like the best, but just the bag style. I'm sure you guys have seen this bag a million times in lots of reviews but I definitely wanted to have it in here because you've probably owned one at one point if you are checking out Jujube stuff. So this is a good one to compare the other bags to. And then the last backpack we have is the B Pack. It's definitely become um, a favorite among Jujube backpack lovers and so I definitely wanted to include this one. The reason why I think this one is so unique on the Queen of the Nile is it actually has the um, black hardware which I think looks really, really good on this bag as well. So if you're not a um, gold hardware person, um, this might be an option for you if you like the Queen of the Nile print itself. Let's just look at size really quickly. I think the biggest ones are going to be the Be Zealous and the Be Right Back. I think these are gonna be able to hold very similar amounts in them, but I do think just from holding them here, the um, Be Zealous is actually lighter in weight. Next in line I think would be the Be Packed and then the Midi Backpack. So I have a few items that I'm going to pack in them and kind of see how they compare in each bag for you. Right off the bat, I do want to point out something that I have noticed about Jujube bottle pockets. I do love how wide these bottle pockets can get. You can fit really nice water bottles in there. It also has some elastic right here so it can, it can extend. But if you look right here, there's the pocket. You can see that there are these like sharp pieces of the fabric that kind of poke into the bag. So if you're reaching in, not just like grabbing a tall water bottle out, your hand will sometimes hit these pieces of fabric and it kind of hurts and I kind of dread sticking my hand into this pocket because of how that's laid out. And I can see that that is the case for um, the Be Right Back. And then also on this little midi backpack, you have the same kind of situation where the bottle pocket extends right there and the fabric kind of goes in on the sides to allow for that extension. But it's not as, it's not as much as on the Be Right Back. So on this one, I can still put my hand in there, but on the sides right there, it does still kind of scratch your hand. And it's like hard. So I don't super love that about these pockets. On the Be Packed, I'm not sure uh, I don't think it's an issue. I know this is one of the older styles where it's just the one mesh pocket on the side and so it has elastic here. So that's not an issue. And I'm pretty sure on the newer versions where it has two pockets on both sides, the um, elastic is at the top and um, you don't have that kind of um, elastic extension. So I don't think that's an issue for the Be Packed. And then on the Be Zealous, you can see here that it is an elastic piece inside the top of the pocket. And so there's no elastic on the sides pulling in and out. So this pocket is very nice and soft to reach into. It feels nice and insulated. Um, between all of them, I would say that the Be Zealous has my favorite pocket because I'm not afraid of like scratching myself to get in and out of here. It fits really nice big bottles. Um, so I would say the Be Zealous has my favorite outside pockets. Now really quickly, let's look at the grab handles. I really love the grab handle on this Be Right Back. It's kind of hard to tell because of this black fabric, but the handle is right here going across the top. It's really nice and sturdy, um, especially on larger bags. I love when the handle is in the center of the bag instead of the back of the bag. It just feels better to me for some reason. So I really love where this grab handle is placed on the Be Right Back. 
On the Bezelis, the grab handle is placed right here on the back section. I do like how it's not just the nylon material though, all the way around. They've added this fabric here, so it's actually really um, comfortable and easy to grab onto. It feels really like nice and substantial. For the B-Packed, again, the handle is in the center of the bag, so I love that. It is kind of like a thicker um, piece of material here. It has some padding in it. And then for the mini backpack, it's just a nylon piece, but I do like that they have rolled it over here. So it's a little bit easier to grab onto and it feels comfortable in your hand. As you know, they're all backpack style, but they all have different backpack straps. So the back of the Be Right Back has a whole mesh padded section on the back and on the back of the shoulder straps. The straps are also very like ergonomically shaped, so they're really nice and comfortable on your back. I would say the material at the top is kind of like stiff, um, but the bottom part is really nice and squishy. Everyone loves the Be Right Back as a really nice, comfortable bag because of this whole back section. You also get a really good memory foam changing pad, so it's nice and cushiony, and they've added this pocket back here, so it just makes the back of the bag even more um, cushiony for you when it's on your back. The back of the Bezels does not have any like mesh breathable padding or anything. In the back panel of this bag, I can feel that there's some sort of like soft cushiony something back there like um, like a foam. So the back wall of the bag is actually um, really soft. And then these backpack straps, they don't have any mesh or anything, um, but you can see they're really easily movable and they're nice and squishy. They're really comfortable on your shoulder. And then also the shape of the actual strap is different as well. On the um, Be Zealous, it's more of just a straight strap. And then on the Be Right Back, it's that like ergonomically shaped strap. I do find for some reason that these backpack straps just feel more stiff for lack of a better word. Whereas these ones are really like soft and squishy. If you're looking for something maybe a little more lightweight, less like fuss than probably the Be Zealous. But if you're looking for something super like breathable, if you're in um, a hot climate or something, um, probably the Be Right Back would be the better choice because it does have that mesh. Okay, let's look at the Be Packed. I feel like this one is kind of similar to the Be Right Back where it does have this whole mesh um, padded panel back here. And then it does have like the soft mesh backpack straps as well. Again, it's kind of like a stiff strap, but comfortable at the same time because it is like padded. It's hard to explain, but I hope that makes sense. And these backpack straps are thicker at the top and get thinner towards the bottom. And I find them nice and comfortable to wear. Now let's look at the midi. Um, again, with the back, it does feel like there's some sort of padding on the back like wall of the bag. Um, but the straps are what's like completely different. On this bag, you just get some really nice adjustable seat belt straps. And I think that's actually okay for this bag because it's not gonna be super, super heavy since it is a smaller bag. And so there won't be as much weight on your shoulders and your back. So um, just having a nice classy seat belt strap probably is fine for this size of bag. I forgot to mention that the Be Zealous also comes with a changing pad, just like the Be Right Back, except for the Be Zealous has a um, thin changing pad, and then the other two bags do not come with a changing pad, so if you need one, um, I believe that they sell them separately on their website as well if you needed to grab yourself one. Okay, let me just show you really quickly the things that I'm going to be packing into the bag. Um, I have a water bottle, this is a 24 ounce. If that doesn't fit, I also have a thermos funtainer here. I've got a large wallet it, but also a smaller wallet if this wallet is too big. Phone keys, sunglasses, hand sanitizer. I have a B set because if you love Jujube, you probably own a B set. So in this piece, in the large one is all my diapering needs. The medium one is snacks. And the small one is little med kit stuff. If that doesn't fill up the bag, I also have a um, freshly picked little clutch here, squigs and boogie boards, and there's actually some like wipes and stuff in there too. So just like little entertainment things, you can think of this as like a change of clothes or um, blankets or anything else that um, you might be carrying in your bag. I'm just kind of using this to show you um, the extra space that might need to be filled. All right, in this front pocket right here, it is the felt line pocket. Uh, most of Jujube bags have some sort of felt line pocket that's good for something like a camera or your phone. So this is the place where I'm going to put my phone here. In this mommy pocket, 
you have a ton of really great organization. I'm going to put my sunglasses here. There's a key leash, so might as well put my keys on there. I'm gonna kind of tuck them into the um, mesh pocket down below. There's another little pocket here. I'm going to put my hand sanitizer spray. Now, I think that um, this wallet, you could fit a nice large wallet in there, which is great. You can also fit a larger wallet in this front section right here, and that just snaps closed. So either way you wanna go on that, there's lots of great organization. On the top of the bag, you actually have a kind of hidden pocket, I guess, if you will. And this is a really great place for um, things you need to grab for quick. Um, I think right now I'll just throw in some snacks in there. This is my medium set piece. It fits in there perfectly. So if I want easy access to snacks and I don't wanna have to go onto the interior of the bag, I can grab them there. Um, something that you either love or you hate about the Be Right Back is the zipper goes all the way down and you have all of this room to work with. Some people put their um, medium set pieces right here on those two elastic pieces. You have a mesh section right here and then you have this whole mesh zippered section. So it's really a lot of room to work with, not necessarily a ton of like pockets to work with. Diapers and wipes back here. Actually, I'm gonna probably switch this around because those elastic pieces, I don't really have anything for so I'll put my snacks up here in my medium set piece in this elastic place and some people love this spot for wipes as well you can put a case of wipes and then easily just grab out your wipes from right here um, I'm gonna take my small set piece that has all my like med stuff and mommy stuff and put it in that top pocket right there still have plenty of room so I'm gonna throw in this um, freshly picked piece right there just in the center. I don't even have anything in this mesh pocket here. So that's a great place for like extra clothes and things. This bag really has a lot of great space. And then of course back here, this is where that memory foam changing pad is. On the sides you have D-rings, which is really great so that you can attach this to a stroller or a grocery cart. My bigger like 24 ounce water bottle on one side and then the thermos funtainer on this side. And as you can see there, it fits both of those really Really beautifully so as you can see the BRB just packs really really well that's why it's one of their most popular styles the way that it's made does make it feel a more like structured and kind of stiff here at the top and on the sides so I wouldn't say it's like a super soft bag but I do think it squishes down pretty easily but I think this one compared to the other bags that I have here this one probably feels like it has the most structure okay I'm excited to take the things from the be right back and throw them into the be zealous since they are similar in size so I'm gonna take my phone and actually back here where um, you do have a similar pocket on the be right back if you see here they look pretty similar, but this one is the felt line pocket. So I'm actually gonna put my phone right in there so it's nice and protected. I'll take out the um, little pouch that has all my like mommy stuff and med stuff and maybe throw that into this uh, mommy pocket here on the front. You can see this mommy pocket is really nice too. You have two slip pockets, a really nice big space, a zippered pocket and the key leash. So let's put that there. I'm gonna go in the front of this and grab my wallet. It's a nice big wallet. You can see it fits right there no problem I think it would actually even fit in this front zip section let me see here really quick if I put it yeah totally my um, that large wallet fits into that big section on the front so either way you could have it there or you could have it in the center um, there's a lot of great room and great space here looking at this mommy pocket again here I have my um, sunglasses so I think maybe I'll throw that into that pocket. I have some hand sanitizer and my keys. So I think what I'll do is I will put the wallet in the front pocket right here like I had it. And then that frees up this space to throw in like my hand sanitizer. Actually, this doesn't even need to go in here. It can go in the main part of the bag. So I can throw in hand sanitizer there and my sunglasses right there. I have keys I'll attach to the key leash and I'll throw those into that pocket kind of out of the way. So I have my 24 ounce water bottle here. I feel like that's a little bit tighter than it felt on the Be Right Back. Thermos fun tanner on this side. 
let's throw that in on this side here obviously that fits with no problem there is no like side back pocket or any sort of back pockets around the back of the bag like there is on the be right back how you have that um, side pocket here and then the opening is a little bit different as well because the zipper still goes all the way down like it does on the be right back but you have gussets on the sides so um, you can't lay this flat and nothing will really fall out which um, a lot of people love so you have this nice big back pocket you have two elasticated mesh pockets here and two elasticated mesh pockets here so i think there's a little more um, organization in the bezelis i'll just move the items over in the same way um, i do have the thin changing pad back there in the very back now the large set piece will not fit into any of these mesh pockets so it will just go right here in the center i have the small set piece that'll easily fit into that pocket there i can easily fit way more into these pockets and this pocket let's see if i can actually fit this freshly picked just in here yeah totally you can fit so much in there and i still have plenty of room to work with i also like that on the be zealous it doesn't feel as structured as the be right back but it still is like standing up on its own and it's not like crumpling in on itself and now you can see what that looks like all packed up let's quickly move to the be packed now so the felt line pocket is actually again at the top here and it's not as like pit big as this huge um pocket right here on the be zealous but it is perfect for your cell phone so my cell phone can fit up and down in this pocket just fine and like standing up so i think that's great um, I know from experience that this front pocket isn't super, super big. Oh, and I forgot to mention that the inside of this be packed in particular is a really pretty coral color. I love that. Um, but you do get two mesh pockets in here, which is nice for a little bit of organization. Okay, so I have my keys that I'll need to throw in there. And I think I'll just put them in down at the bottom because there is no little like key leash or anything. I have my sunglasses that I will put into one of the mesh pockets. And then I also have my hand sanitizer I'll throw into that pocket. Um, I don't think that my large wallet is gonna fit in here very easily. Yeah, it's, it's like too big. So in this case for this bag, I would opt to use a smaller wallet like the Be Charged. I could even throw this into one of these mesh pockets or I can just throw it down in next to the keys. So obviously a little less room when it comes to um, the mommy pocket situation. Now let me see if this water bottle will fit here. It's kind of tight, but it does fit there. The water bottle here, I'll just have to see if there's any room on the interior for it. And now again, no other um, outside back pockets or anything. You just have the main section. Um, in here, you can see this is where my cell phone is. It's that felt line pocket. It just kind of hangs down there. Um, back here, you have an elasticated section. I'll kind of tuck that back there so you can see better. Um, but there's no other pockets in here except for a zippered section right at the top so i think i'll take my set piece the small set piece and put it into this zippered pocket here that fits just fine um back here in this back section i think i'll put my diapers and wipes back there just so i know where they are really easily throw in the um, snacks and then i think i still have room for this big freshly picked piece but as you can see I stood them up instead of putting them um, horizontally like I did here vertically this way and then I can just grab out the pieces I can actually fit the water bottle just kind of standing up on its own right there you can see there's not a ton of room left on this one I have a little space maybe for like a tiny blanket or something but for the most part this one is pretty full and as you can see that's what that looks like when it's all packed up I do love how the be packed keeps a really nice slim profile so if you don't want to add a ton of bulk to your back then I do think this one is a really nice option okay I'm excited to pack up the midi backpack I've never packed it up before so so let's see how this goes you do have two bottle pockets on the outsides but there is no felt line pocket on this bag so I'm gonna have to try and fit all of my stuff for me inside of this front pocket which I think it actually looks a little bit bigger than this B pack does so it might fit items better and there are no um, pockets in here or internal organization so let's see how this goes I'm gonna take my phone out of this um, felt line pocket and the B packed 
just throw that in there. Here's my Lily Jade wallet. It is a little bit big for this pocket, so again, I would just use a Be Charged. I have my hand sanitizer. I can throw that into the corner there. I'm kind of nervous about putting my sunglasses in here if it's if they'll get squished, but I think that's fine. Right there, kind of in the corner on the front. And then the last thing is my keys, and actually, I'll throw this, those in on the bottom. So it's not very organized in there, but I can fit everything. Let me see if this water bottle will fit on the outside of this bag, because it's kind of a big water bottle for this size of bag. But yeah, it actually will fit in there. It's kind of a tight squeeze there at the bottom part of it, but it doesn't look too bad on the outside there. Something like the Funtainer might fit a little bit better. So let me see what that looks like on this side. Yeah, for the size of this bag, I would say something more like the Thermos Funtainer size looks um, better from the outside. You have a long zippered pocket and then you have two, uh, oh, you have one long elasticated pocket and then in front of that, there's two elasticated pockets. I'll take the diapers and wipes and put them in that biggest section in the back right there. In the zippered pocket, I think I'll do the same thing that I did in the B-Packed and put um, that little small set piece back there in the back. And then I have a couple more things and I'm not sure if I will be able to fit them, but let's try. Just put that in right there. Um, that kind of takes up a lot of the space in the middle, especially if you have these bottle pockets. Well, it kind of is pushing into the interior. I still have those two small pockets there in the front. I don't think I have anything to put in there. And then I have my medium set piece that I could just kind of shove right here on top. So it's not ideal um, for like organization, but if you just had smaller things and you weren't packing with pouches necessarily, and you were just putting items into those pockets, then I think this would work great for you. Again, this is a nice slim profile. I think this is a really great um, toddler bag if you are getting out of diapers. It's more of like a mini diaper bag, um, which I think is why they called it the midi. Um, this bag does have like around the sides, it does feel like it has some nice structure to it um, but it will kind of squish flat this way um, it doesn't feel super bendable this way which is kind of nice so it keeps the front of your bag looking nice and clean looking but there you go that is what that one looks like all packed up with those items I hope that helped you to see the different bags next to each other and how they um, pack up Make sure you watch all the way through to the end of the video because I will be showing you what all of them look like on the body. If you have any um, particular questions about any of the sizing or the styles, please let me know in the comments below. Now that I've had a chance to like see them in person and try them out, I'll feel confident in being able to answer your questions about these bags. Thank you guys so much for um, hanging out with me for this review and I will see you guys in the next one.